Hey guys, I've just received this big box from the guys at Gretsch. Inside is one of the brand new G2210 Streamliner Junior Jet Club guitars. Let's tear this thing open and see what the guitar looks like. Wow, that color is incredible. So here it is, the brand new G2210 Streamliner Junior Jet Club in this lovely gunmetal finish. There are four different finishes of this guitar available and it's a brand new line for Gretsch. So I think we should plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. But before we do that, please scroll down the page right now and hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions really help this channel to grow, so please go do that. And we're gonna plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. So here it is, the G2210. This is part of the Streamliner collection from Gretsch. This is a brand new model and it's called the Junior Jet Club. This is the first solid body model in the Streamliner collection. The whole idea between Gretsch making this guitar was to give you a stripped down rock and roll workhorse. It's very simple, there's not much to it, but it really packs a punch. Believe it or not, this guitar is actually super affordable. In the UK currently, this guitar is retailing just south of 250 pounds. In the US, that translates roughly to about $300. This guitar is available in four colors. This is one of those colors. This is gunmetal. This is like a gray blue crossover with a really nice sparkle finish to it. It's also available in a finish called Gold Dust, Vintage White, and Imperial Stain. The pickups on this are Gretsch Broadtron pickups. They're similar to the Filtertrons, except they're a little wider. They're more like a humbucker, but they still retain that Filtertron clarity. We've got a single volume control, a single tone control, and a three-way switch everything you need to get through a rock and roll show. Both the body and the neck on this are made from a material called NATO. NATO is a very close relative of the mahogany family, so it's no surprise what sort of tones you're gonna get from a single cut guitar made of mahogany. Quite a weighty beast, it's very solid and it feels very robust. The bolt on neck is also finished in the same color as the body, which looks fantastic. And we've got a laurel fretboard on top with a 12 inch radius. So this is pretty fast. It's great for playing some quick, rock licks. Got the classic wrapper on tailpiece, the one ply tortoise shell pick guard, and these lovely just over the top thumb style fret inlays. This guitar looks absolutely awesome and I bet this would be a great gigging guitar. So first impressions are great, straight out the box I'm struggling to find anything that I dislike. So let's have a look at some of the tones this guitar has to offer. The tones you're going to be hearing are coming from the Rajani Amps VOD 50 combo. This is a boutique hybrid combo that you see behind me there. There's going to be a full review of that coming up on the channel very soon. So let's start with some clean tones. Sounds really great for pick chords. The broad tron pickups have a really nice articulation about them. I particularly like the middle setting with both broad trons on at the same time. Thank you. 
much. It sounds great clean. Let's put it through a little bit of grit. I'm gonna kick on an overdrive pedal now and we'll see how this thing sounds. <laughs> So this guitar reacts great to a little bit of overdrive too. Let's crank up the gain a little bit more and see if it can handle some heavier gain. So this guitar and the broad trumpet pickups can definitely handle a little bit of gain when you push it. Sounds great. Now the guitar is super versatile. Gretsch are known for making guitars that you can pretty much put to any application. It's great for blues. <laughs> Great for classic rock. It's great for country. Probably play a little bit of funk with it if you wanted. Pretty much anything in between. This is a great guitar. I honestly can't believe how cheap it is to buy. £250 in the UK, about $300 in the US. So, so affordable. This actually comes in at a price point which is sort of towards the top end of what a beginner might buy, but honestly this guitar does not feel like a beginner's guitar. I actually own another Gretsch which I paid quite a bit more for, and honestly this out of the box can rival the Gretsch that I already own. It's a fantastic build guitar and it looks amazing. The guitar is Indonesian built and like I said it's made from NATO, which is quite an unusual word. You don't often see many guitars made from NATO, so it's quite cool, but like I said it is a relative of the mahogany family, so we kind of know what sort of tones we're going to get straight off the bat there. This guitar is designed to just be a workhorse. It's very simple, like I said at the start, single volume, single tone, two pickups, three-way switch, and a wraparound bridge. There's not really a lot else you need to get through a gig, and this is the guitar that will get you through a gig. The tuners feel pretty solid, but they could probably do with being upgraded at some point if you had some extra cash, but that's not to say they need to be upgraded. I definitely think this is the sort of guitar that could last through a good couple of weeks on the road. It can take a beating, and it feels really solid. Even though it's a bolt-on neck, it's really well put together, and I wouldn't hesitate to take this thing out and play it for a gig. So if you're looking for an absolute workhorse of a guitar that can do everything from funk to blues to rock to classic rock and everything in between, check out the Gretsch G2210 Streamliner Junior Jet is available in other colors as well. 
This is the gunmetal color. It looks brilliant, but check out the other colors as well. There may be a color that you like even more than this one. So there you go, there it is. There is the Junior Jet Club by Gretsch. What do you guys think of this guitar? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the way this guitar looks and the way this thing sounds. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this guitar. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And if you did like this video, please scroll down the page right now and hit that subscribe button. Like I said at the start of the video, your subscriptions really help me to keep growing this channel and to keep making cool videos with brands like Gretsch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.